All right, here's some more information uh, about the triathlon. So we're thinking about putting together a team. Uh, why? Uh, well, if you see uh, Bob over here, he's kind of a pretty handsome fella. He is in uh, in the morning class, and uh, he is uh, on the board uh, for the the hemophilia center, and he uh, he volunteers for the the, the medical uh, tent uh, there, and he he puts that on. He's been thinking about doing it for many many years, and he's been doing boot camp now, and he's going to give it a go. And so I I said I would do it with him, and uh, and now Chris and Tanya are, are going to be doing it also. And there's so there's and there's some other uh, clients we've already talked to that are going to be doing it. So that'd be really fun just to open it up to everybody, and maybe have a chance to have a lot of us there and uh, and have a good time and and uh, try a new challenge. So um, it is for a charity. Uh, it is for the uh, the Hemophilia Center, the Mary M. Guli Hemophilia Center, and that's a uh, it's a center for people with uh, you know blood based illnesses. Um, and so it is their main fundraiser of the of the year, and uh, it's a, it's actually a pretty cool event. I've 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 been there a few times, and uh, as like a like a vendor. So and it, and it's going to be a a fun challenge to take on. Now I know what a lot of people are thinking is they 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 they're thinking they oh I don't want to do that or I, I don't I can't do that. And and we know in boot camp there is no I can't. So do not avoid this because you think you can't do this. It's fine if you don't want to do it. That's, that's that's perfectly fine if you just have don't have no desire to do that. That's fine. Then you don't need to do this. But uh, but don't not do this because you think you can't. This is going to be very doable for uh, for anybody in boot camp, and, and I'll explain how and why. So the story of Kay um, yeah, when she, she did her first uh, first month or two of boot camp, and then she went and did a 5K, and she was still you know not in in great shape yet. She was she was working on it. But she did it um, um, because I, I suggested that you know it'd be a good thing to do to get a measurement so you can improve from there. And because she had the guts to step up there and do it when she wasn't quite sure of uh, of her ability to do it, um, she was able to uh, to better her time the next year by nine minutes. So she could tell that she had improved nine minutes better. That's three minutes per mile um, better that she did because she had the guts to try the first time. And so, in the year after that, she was able to go again, and uh, and she did 11 minutes better. So, if she hadn't done that first time, she wouldn't have been able to see that much dramatic improvement. So, what I'm suggesting here is maybe think about trying something new, and even if you're not sure, you're fully prepared for it. So, this this is not an Iron Man. You know, we're not we're not going to be one of these guys here in the speedo. I'm not going to wear a speedo for this, by the way. So it's, it's not an Ironman. When people think about triathlons, oftentimes they think about the Ironman triathlon, which is the most publicized one, where they swim, you know, 2.4 miles, they bike 112 miles, and then after that they run a full marathon, 26.2 miles. This is not that kind of triathlon. It has three events. It has a swim, it has a bike, it has a run, but it is not the Ironman distance. So they have the Olympic distance, but what I'm talking about is the sprint distance, and it's totally doable. So the sprint distance is a swim less than a half a mile, a bike of 13 miles, and a run of 3.1 miles. And the reason why this is totally doable, because some of you may be thinking, well, that still sounds like a lot of stuff to do. Um, and it is. It's still going to be a, a, a challenge to do. That's a, you finish off with a 5K uh, in, this, in this event. But, you know, uh, you can actually divide this up. We can actually set up some relay teams where one person does the swim, one person does the bike, and one person does the run. And so you don't you can only, only have to do one of those. So if you're like, well, I, I'll do the swim, but I really don't like biking and running, uh, or I hate running, so I'll do the bike. You know, so you can you can find some people. And what you can do is you can contact us if you're wanting to do that, but you don't have any people to do it along with. And we'll try to see if we can uh, put up some teams too. So you can do it all yourself. Um, uh, I'm going to be going through all those uh, myself. I actually uh, am not a strong swimmer. I don't own a bike, and I don't like running. So, so this is going to fit me perfectly to do this. But you know, I'm doing it because it's going to be a neat challenge and a different experience. So, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to work on the run. I'm going to swim in the pool, and I am going to rent a bike on that day. So I won't be practicing the biking a whole lot. So join if you want. Uh, we'd love to have you. Um, it'll be fun, uh, and we can even uh, train together a few times. You know, maybe some runs, or you know, some of you guys can go bike, but I I, I, I could run alongside your bike maybe. Um, and we we we, get a, we can get a T-shirt together. It'd be really fun. I was thinking maybe tall trainer fitness boot campers try hard. I thought that'd be kind of 
That'd be kind of a fun little title. But we can come up with something different too if that's too terrible. So, um, uh, also Bob has offered his uh, his place by the lake to to practice swimming in the water there. Uh, so let me go in to show you the site so you can figure out how to how to sign up here. So if you go to the follow the link there, it's got the register now. It's got some information about the event, about the distances, about the relays, and things like that. And so you can go to register now. If you go to register now, it'll take you over to this page, which asks you which race do you want to do. So you're not going to be able to sign up uh, until you kind of have a relay team if you're going to be doing a relay. But we do need to try to sign up really quick because this is going to fill up really, really fast. So, so let's see if we can contact us really quick and uh, see if we get this together and you guys can sign up for relay. So it does cost money to do this. If you look over here, you got the... You know, for most of us, we're going to be in the in the non-USA triathlon member because we don't do triathlons all the time. So it would be it would be eighty-two dollars for the sprint uh, non-USA tri uh, triathlon member. So it is a fundraiser. This is a donation uh, that is going towards the the hemophilia center. So uh, re remember that if you think it uh, it is if it's a lot of money, um, it is it is for charity. So so you can you can sign up there and. Um, and it lets us win the bike and the run. And so, so if you're going to do the whole thing yourself, you click on Sprint, and uh, it's got a bunch of information uh, on farther. So you could probably should probably read some of this. It's got uh, the contact information. It's got a, uh, a li liability waivers there because, um, well, I mean it's a, it's a it's a challenging thing. And anytime you know people have you are doing anything outside or anything physically demanding, uh, there are risks. And so they want to make sure that they're they're protecting themselves. So if you click through the next page, it'll get you to the uh, uh, just uh, some extra stuff, emergency contact, t-shirt size, um, how'd you hear about the race, and then you go to the payment. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. I think it'll be something fun, a, a good challenge, and um, I guess a good way to cap off the summer. So, so consider doing it. And if you're if you're ready to sign up as uh, doing it on, uh, you're doing the whole thing yourself. Go ahead and sign up. If you if you need to talk to some people, get to get some other people around, get them together, and then and then sign yourselves up for the uh, for the team thing. You're probably going to need um, you know multiple people's information for uh, for that one. Um, at the same time, so make sure you have those that information together. Sign up your team, and if you need a team, uh, contact us, and we'll uh, and we'll try to put that together.